So, with right. that done, yeah. should we talk about all the content that we get to do in patch 9.1 week one? I'm unbelievably excited for next uh, Wednesday because we're in EU. Yeah, this is it's the biggest document we've ever yeah, prepared. All the content. This took yeah. weeks. This, it's going to take days for this to even load this document. Yeah. There you have it. There we go. There you have it. That's it. Are you not impressed? Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to take some time off work and set aside and everything just to get this all, all pumped through. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. a bit. But also, it's not wrong, per yes. se. So this is a really, really interesting thing where. I 100% understand why Blizzard are doing this. Yep. You know, I don't think that they are, that mm. Id's just sitting down being like, haha, we're going to get them for one week of subscription. <laughs> mm. I don't, I don't think Ian's doing that. Yeah, the, at all. <laughs> they're not, they're not buying a week to bug fix the yeah. raid, like, are they? Oh. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, no, yep. I, I think this is like, this is typically what they do. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's it's the sort of thing for me where it's like, mm. I can understand why they do some of it. There's one mm. bit that feels wrong to me, even though I understand why it's there. Yeah. Um, but I think it's that thing. They, they, they want the thing to come out. They want people to, I'm not, yeah, well, they want people, Corthy to come out, the, the world content, but like the actual patch bit, not the mm. season bit. And, yep. you know, do that. And sort of get acquainted with it, get the characters up to speed, do their stuff. And, you know, just sit down, get ready, get prepped. Next week, season two starts. Do your Mythic Plus yep. Dungeons, do your Raid, do Tassavesh. Yeah. Now that said, it can have a sort of feeling for players, though, where, you know, when you think about, oh my god, it's patch week of World of Warcraft. I want to play my characters, this is going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. You log into the game, you do the first three chapters, which I believe is what is available. Yep. Um, you do the first three chapters in Corthia, you know, you get rid of the Tower Gru, you, um, you get rid of the Eye of the Jailer, you unlock Corthia, you, you know, you do some of that content, you do the dailies, maybe, a, yeah, a Covenant Assault will be there. Yeah. Now, I every single day, you will be able to do your, uh, your treasures, your rares, and your events. Mm -hmm. In order to get the uh, the relic fragments that go into the archivist's codex, yeah. The, the... But basically, most of your week one uh, experience of this patch is going to be Torgas Layer Nine, maybe doing your Mythic Zero World Tour and your alts, um, and then you know oh. the the Corthia uh, daily content. Uh, I can't delete that, but remember they actually don't get updated until the week later oh no the gear yeah yeah no. so that's actually not even accurate that's anymore false. fake i mean they're they're there they're just in their season one form yeah yeah okay so no dungeon stuff on week one basically so right we, in week one you're going to be rambling around corthia the entire life. week there'll be um, and desmadron whatever it's called yeah, there you go. um that'll be it so it's that thing where i think a bunch of people they think about patch week and they're like cool i'm going to do the new content and then mm. you know me and the team are going to go into the big new dungeon and I think people don't necessarily expect a big raid, you know, to come out initially, but mm. uh, expect maybe feel like they expect the dungeon. That's not going to happen. So, you know, mm. I can see why that's not really ideal. But then the whole problem is, well, if you put the dungeon out early, then you get one full lockout of dungeon gear for every one of the game. Uh, and then, you know, it's not going to throw off their intended gear pacing. So I guess they're just like, okay, we'll just say season two and it'll all be a week later. Yeah. Now I have a giga brain, a giga theory, giga theory. It's actually not much of a gig theory because it's what they did in Legion. <laughs> if they're going to be doing this whole thing, right, mm -hmm. of splitting that content up, and I remember Ian talking about this, and I remember agreeing with the man. Mm. Uh, I remember him saying, you know, we have the Broken Shore done. Why would we hold it back when World of Warcraft needs some world content right now? It's quite funny considering Legion's pretty good by that. <laughs> or maybe it wasn't, yep. but whatever it was, it was that yeah. idea of like, Let's get the world stuff and all of that into the game sooner. Hmm. And, you know, hey, no worries. We, uh, you know, a month and a half. That's when later. That's when the raid and stuff will come out. Yep. It's the sort of thing where, you know, if that world content is done earlier, uh, you know, or maybe if they knew that they could just sort of do like, you know, Azeroth update, end game season update, and that those are two separate things, maybe mm -hmm. that would allow them to prioritize their development resources yeah. in such a way where perhaps uh, they could get content into the hands of players uh, more often. Because I think a bunch of the people who really like world content are feeling particularly 
the pinch mm. right now. And, you know, so may maybe that's a thought. It's something they did in Legion. I thought it was decently successful then. Um, who knows? But anyway, anyway. Yeah. No, my, my, my thought on that is I actually completely believe it is purely a week for... A week for last minute bug fixing, a week for uh, catch up. Not like under any other circumstance, it would still be this way. I completely believe that because they want to match everything up to their season two, including all the item level stuff because that's how it works. But mm. it's just, it just feels bad. And especially because everyone's going, well, um, June 29th is definitely the uh, June 29th and 30th are the last, uh, last couple days of Q2 2021. Everyone's going, you know, how, how true is it that, oh, that that they did it because they want to get the oh. extra sub money for that? Especially oh. because, hang on a second, here's one thought. Oh, uh, come on. Is it really? I, I mean, it could be, but is it really? Uh, well, I, I would almost say yes, but for one thing, right? Uh -huh. So, uh, the 30th of, th there's no 31st of June. It's the 30th of June. That's the end of Q2 2021. Yeah. The sixth month sub for the current uh the current promotion expires on the 30th of june so that's interesting yeah because are they going to are they going to drop a new six month sub on the 30th of june or would they have to wait until the first of july for that because if you're looking at if you're looking into what they're doing to play with literal finances then there's a decent chance but also ah that's all it's all vaguely conspiratorial. I don't think they would. I don't think they would go that far unless the uh, unless the higher ups have such a stranglehold that they're literally throwing the game in the bin for the sake of finances. But Hopefully I don't think I don't uh, think that. So Hopefully it's that's uh, not what's going on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, keep in mind it could be it could be that, but I also think that it's just business as usual. I think it just looks pretty. Yeah, it just looks bad. The people are saying all this. It's mostly it. Should say by the way, thank you to Higgy Baby and Sean mm. Grant for joining yes. as members. Hmm. You can get that sexy new Matt Wicked emote. Oh yeah. yeah. I actually saw somebody else join, but I cannot see in the logs. I'm very confused. Nice. But uh, yes, thank you guys. Hmm. Man. That the <laughs> this emote creation has been very, very satisfying to me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's that's the week one situation. So uh, yep. in week two, the beginning of. Q3 2021, if we want to be spicy <laughs> boys. Woo -hoo. Uh, so July 6th and 7th, that's where Normal and Heroic SOD will unlock, as well as Tazavesh, Torghast Layers 10 Plus, Mythic Plus Season 2, Rated PvP Season 2, and We Believe Flying, perhaps, maybe. Yep. So, big week. Big week. That's when the patch, in in all earnest, starts. Yeah. Except, you know what? I'm yeah. actually pretty excited, because that's yep. almost all content I want to do. Yeah, just uh, make sure and do your Corthia grinds every day for your research to make sure you're uh, up to snuff with everything else we written will. in Season 2. We will see how that goes. <laughs> um, we will see how that goes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's ah, it's funny. Flying. Flying is going to be so good in this expansion. Just having it's going to be great. That said, that said, that's because Professor's being a wee bit annoying in some cases. Uh, <laughs> the zones are not contiguous. Hmm. Be an engineer, get the wormhole. Yep. Because then it doesn't matter that the zones are not contiguous. You have a 15 minute teleport to whatever zone you want. You hop in your flying mount, zoom, you go away. And now 15 minutes is definitely way too long on cooldown. Because you can probably get all the work rest cracked out in five minutes. If you can fly. Five? If you can fly? Some of them take too long. Hmm. Some of them take too long, but you could you could actually, or is it 30? I forget exactly for the NG thing. But yeah, you could. You could 15. 15, right. Yeah, yeah you, no, you, you could probably, yeah, you, if you go real fast, actually, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I that happens to me occasionally, like... Dang. Then July, well, you know, next week after that, yep. Mythic, uh, Raid Finder Wing 1, and then, of course, Raid Finder Wings will just drip feed out right, until finally, at the end of August, we get Raid Finder Wing 4, Sylvanas Windrunner. Hmm. And uh, that's probably a year after when the pa or the expansion was initially supposed to come out. Which is uh, an interesting thought. Oh, August, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. That is uh, that is essentially a patch uh, sort of content hmm. release schedule. That's what the crack's going to be for this yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, for anyone who's not doing Raid Finder, it's not not really a big deal. It's just yeah. wait one week, Ellen's out. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, big if true. So, uh, and in fact, it is true. 